Hello, and welcome to this tutorial focusing on the Extend Surface Tool. The Extend Surface Tool enables you to elongate a surface by selecting an edge, multiple edges, or even an entire face. Let's start by breaking down the Extend Surface Property Manager. We can find that under the Surfaces tab of the Command Manager, and just right here, Extend Surface. Select that, and we get the Property Manager. In this first box, you're going to be asked to pick an edge, multiple edges, or a face for the extension. Once you make those selections, we move on to the end condition, where you instruct SOLIDWORKS on how to conclude the extension operation. This section offers several options. First, we have distance. Specify a user-defined value to terminate the extension at a specific distance from the starting point. Up to point. Select a point or vertex in the graphics area as the termination point for this extension. Up to surface. Similar to the up to point option, but this time you'll choose another surface as the terminating boundary. And lastly, you'll need to decide whether the extension type should be same surface, which extends the surface along its existing geometry, or linear which extends the surface tangentially along the original surface's edges. Now, let's explore some of the various methods we use to extend surfaces in SOLIDWORKS. In this example, we have three distinct surfaces. Our ultimate objective is to make them intersect at a specified location, simplifying the process of trimming away unnecessary surfaces and leaving us with a corner and edges that can be subsequently filleted. Let's begin with an extension of a single edge. With the edges faces to extend box populated, I'm simply going to grab an edge. Once that is selected, make sure the end condition is set appropriately. I'm gonna change this to distance. Here is our user-defined value. I'll stick with 60. You may notice that this surface is going to pass this surface here. That is intentional. We want them to completely intersect with one another, making the Trim Surface tool a lot easier to manage. Once you have the appropriate distance, just click OK. And now we have our first extended surface. Next, we're going to go back into the Extend Surface tool. Now, I'm gonna look at this here surface. I know I need it to extend in this direction as well as this direction. So, for this one, I will in fact be selecting multiple edges. Now, let's just double check, make sure we're going through the surfaces. Looks good at 60 and we can click okay. The next one we're gonna do Going back into the Extend Surface tool, this one, I'd like to show you how if you select a entire face, how the Extend Surface tool will work. So I selected that face, and now we get all of the edges being extended. We now have our three surfaces, and it's going to be relatively easy from this point to go ahead and trim these surfaces away. From here, I'd like to show you an additional extend surface option that's going to help us fill this gap here. So, extend surface tool, I'm gonna to grab my edge, and I'm gonna make sure that the end condition is up to point. Now, from here, I have to select a point to take this surface up to. I'm gonna grab this point right here, and then I'm gonna click OK. So we now use the Extend Surface tool to not only do individual edges, multiple edges, and faces, but we also change the end condition to go up to a specific point. Next, what I'd like to do is add in another surface to act as a type of cover. This surface needs to follow the exact contour of the two vertical surfaces. Extend Surface makes that possible. Start by creating a quick sketch.
creating a planar surface. And now, instead of wasting time in the sketch, what we can do is utilize the Extend Surface tool. I'll grab this edge here first, and we'll go up to Surface. Click OK. And I'm just going to repeat that process. Grab this edge up to surface. And now we have a new type of cover surface that is following the exact contour of these two vertical surfaces. From this point, it's as simple as performing the trimming operation again. Additionally, if you wanted, you could come in here and clean up the rest of this model. The last thing I would like to show you in the Extend Surface tool is what happens when we change this extension type. So I'm going to start by selecting an edge. Let's make sure our end condition is distance. And we'll stick with linear for now. I'm going to grab this edge here. Now, if we reposition and look down on this, with linear selected, remember, this is going to extend the surface tangentially along the original surface's edge. Now, what happens if I change it to same surface? This extends the surface along its existing geometry. So you get that curvature. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial on the Extend Surface tool. For more content just like this and much, much more, please visit Hawkridge Systems YouTube channel or blog. You can find links in the description.